Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, today I am product featuring the hot foil pen from Couture Creations. This is a new product that you can use with the heat activated foils and also a great way of using this quick and easy foiling pen that's so versatile with all lots of different mediums. It comes with four different nibs and different size nibs. It's very portable and it has a USB plug so this can go inside your computer or on, in, plugged into your computer but also if you have a phone charger with that looks something like this and it doesn't matter what country you live in they all have the same USB charger that can go into your plug of your power outlet so there's quite a versatile tool this foiling pen. It also comes with two meters of gold foil so you can start creating straight away with the heat activated gold foil. Now another um, tip to just let you know this nib is very hot when it is hot and on so if you need to change your little nibs throughout the process of your creating I suggest you get a pair of pliers to take out that hot nib and put in the new one and that just clips in really easy and it's easy to take out. So I'm going to plug this into my outlet but like I said you can plug it into your computer laptop. It does take a while to heat up so when you plug it in all you need to do is press this button and a red light appears you must have to wait until that turns green. Make sure that you don't put any plastic near the top of that nib where the heat is um, penetrating. You don't want to melt plastic or anything like that. Ideally, I've been using the artwork station here. This is really good because it's not plastic and it won't melt. So here I'm going to show you some simple techniques of using the foiling pen, some tricks and some techniques. So I'm using the art all-in-one art station with some stencils. Now this is a previous stencil and stamp set. I'm using two of these stencils from that collection. I'll have the product code listed below in my description of this video. And this has got a beautiful border which really looks lovely once you trace foil onto some cardstock. I did create a card with this border and a Christmas card and I thought I'd show you the technique of how to create that border with this stencil. But like I said, you can use any stencils that you have in your craft room. I'm sure you have lots of different stencils and you can use them to trace around with the foiling pen to create really unique projects. And the foil is heat activated so you can put any medium on top of it, it will never rub away. So I'm using a hinge method to keep the stencil onto my base of the card. That is really good if you want to do some shadow inking afterwards and you want to place it on top. Now it doesn't matter whether you do some shadowing colouring before or you do the foiling after, it's up to you. So this hinge method is really good so that way you can if you need to do some more tracing with the foil, you can go back and do it again. So I'm placing the foil with the coloured side up and holding it down with some washi tape. I find this is a great tool to have to make sure that foil is nice and flat on your cardstock. That's really important. See how I flapped over the stencil and now I'm ready to trace over through the stencil. Just another tip, make sure that it is definitely on and it is hot to go. So this actual stencil border, I created the border here that I've just gone in and did some more squiggly lines. I did some leaf type textures, but this I left it with just the outline. So I just traced with the foil onto cardstock onto the outline. So I'll show you how I did that. So once your nib is hot and it's got a green light, then it's ready to go. One other tip is to make sure that you need to go slowly. You're not drawing very quickly. You need to go really, really slow and steady and ensure that you're holding the actual pen straight up and upright. 
This is really important to ensure that the heat is transferring through the foil onto your cardstock. As you can see, I'm going really slowly. I'm not going to fast forward this, so then you can see how slowly I am going. And the best bit about having the hinge method of placing this stencil on here, if you haven't um, traced properly with the foil, you can go back and put it back on again. And that's an easy way of doing this. So if you have any other stencils, there are a lot of different stencils that are out on the market. Couture have got a few that are included in this stamp set, but I'm sure you have lots and lots in your, if you've been crafting for a while, you would have lots of stencils that you can use any border, any alphabet stencils, really look nice, but also you can do freehand as well. But if you wanting to look for something that is constant and stencils are the way to go because they all provide a beautiful outline. So as you can see I've done the foiling on this border and that's how I created that border. It's very simple but the technique and oh it's just a bit blurry here on the sh film here but you can see it very quickly there that it is a beautiful stencil very simple but very effective. So then I just turned that around and did the other section and then I cut it out so it's like an L shape that I placed that on my card. So I'll have close-ups of my card directly after this video so you can see exactly how I created that Christmas card. But you can do any other card as well. So that's just one way of using the hot foil pen. The hot foil pen comes with four nibs. There is a fine one. I've used the fine one with my stencils. I find that's a really good one for using stencils. And also there's a standard nib, a bold nib, and also a calligraphy nib. Here I've just done some doodling with some black cardstock and gold foil. And it's just a really great way of adding different textures and different elements to your projects. So I'm going to show you some doodling that you can do freehand and that's a great thing about this hot foiling pen. If you do calligraphy or if you do some really nice handwriting you can create your own unique projects. You can name uh, lots of projects with people's names. You can write on envelopes. You could write their name on place cards. Um, how beautiful would it be if you drew a, a flower and then coloured it in. So you can do so many unique things with um, this hot foiling pen. So I'm placing some cardstock onto my art station and then I'm placing some foiling foil on top of that. I'm using this stencil which has some circles and this is a really good way if you want to create some uh, you same size circles this is a great stencil to have. You can you find lots of stencils that have this whole holes or little circles. I've done some stars that so keeps like unique stars when you're doing some unique little um, starry projects and also you can do crisscross hatching. So you can create lots of things with just a simple stencil whether it's a circle or a square. Another way you can use this um, very quickly I'm just going to show you this is a stencil with just some lines. You can create a beautiful background um, that you can create with the foiling pen. You can imagine this all onto a cardstock. Um, that would be quite unique just using the foiling pen and just a line stencil like this one here. Really effective. Here also I'm going to use another stencil. This one here, this is an alphabet stencil that you can pick up from craft shops and you can use that to draw names if you're not in practice of drawing freehand. You can get stencils that you can draw and outline with the stencil letters and names. Um, there's lots of brands out there that might have it. You can colour it in as well if you want a thicker, uh, broader 
outline as well. And then of course you can draw freehand. So I'm just writing some words here. I think Oh, and also, oh, this is a great technique. If you have a stencil and just want to highlight maybe a insert of a flower, this is a really great insert that you can add texture with the foiling. So they're just some quick ways of using the foiling pen with stencils or freehand and some tips on using something that you might have in your craft room to add these features onto your projects beautifully foiled and doesn't rub off. So as I said there's four nibs there's the fine one which is this is the top one here the next one is a standard one it's just a little bit more thicker a little bit more you can see it's a bit more bolder and then the third one's a bit more bolder and obviously this the last one is a calligraphy one so that would be really bold. They're the different thicknesses. I'm tending to use the first three for any stencils but the first one is perfect for stencils and it's also the second one. So if you do art journaling this is another way of adding some foiling to your projects. You might use stencils and I'm just placing this art journal page. I've used this stencil in the background and I just want to add a bit of the outline of these diamonds on the back and I'm just placing a little bit of foil onto my art journal and then with the stencil I'm just tracing around the nib with the nib, the fine nib with my hot foiling pen just to create a little bit of texture and highlights onto my projects. So that's the best thing about this, you can use it on your painting, you can use it on your watercolour paper, you can use it on your journaling paper, you can use it in your journal, you can write something as well. So you can use it on watercolour paper and also on synthetic alcohol ink paper or UPO paper. I've done a design here with alcohol inks. I'm going to place some foiling on top and with my foiling pen I'm going to write the word hello in freehand. So that will transfer onto the synthetic alcohol paper and also some designs. You can do lots of different creations now with using the synthetic alcohol paper and then with alcohol inks and then adding some foiling with the foiling pen and no extra foil will go on it only what you've used with the foil isn't that great Ooh, lovely lovely I've also used it on vellum and also here I have translucent alcohol ink paper it's part of our collection with the alcohol inks and again I'm just uh, using the stencil to create some doodling and also um, you can write with it freehand so exactly the same thing it will transfer onto vellum onto to translucent paper onto mirror board any type of uh, cardboard surface works fabulous with this hot foiling pen I haven't tried it on materials so that's my next thing I'm now going to do is try it on materials to see how that goes so I might do another video on that one but can you imagine doing your designs in foil on your vellum and translucent paper and then adding your mixed media or creating with the vellum afterwards look at that isn't that wonderful so versatile you use this hot foiling pen with so different many different mediums and papers so they're the different mediums I've used I'm going now to show you another technique which I'm so super excited to show you. So here I have a piece of paper and I've also stamped a leaf design from a previous collection on some ordinary copy paper and then I'm going to transfer the foil onto this perfect piece of cardstock. So I'm placing the foil really flat and secure onto the cardstock with the heat foiling on top, securing it down with the washi tape. I already stamped the image onto some normal copy paper, really thin copy paper and with the heat hot foiling pen the heat will transfer through to the foil onto the cardstock. So if you have so many different stamps you can actually stamp that image 
onto copy paper and use that to transfer or trace over to get a beautiful image of what you've stamped. Now it's really important that you go very slowly and have a steady hand. It will pick up any little marks or any little mistakes that you might make. So if you have some beautiful designs that are in stamping in your craft room, this is a great way of using the foiling pen to trace over to get the design onto your cardstock. Isn't that wonderful? Now, you may have some word sentiments. So I have this best wishes stamp here, which I'm just going to quickly stamp on top of my piece of copy paper. It doesn't have to be a perfect stamp because it's only going to be used for just transferring onto the copy paper and then with your hot foiling pen you're going to steady and slowly trace over that word sentiment and then another thing you could use is you don't have to actually stamp an image or a word sentiment you can also print it from your computer onto some copy paper some words or some special um, invitation words that you can just trace over with your hot foiling pen. How brilliant is that? I can see so many uses of this pen. It is such a fabulous tool and just to add a little bit of foiling to some little finishing touches of your projects, this foiling pen is a must-have. Look at that! Isn't that wonderful? Oh, the, look, I just can't stop talking about this pen. It's a really good product. And stenciling, you must have so many, I've got so many stencils in my project, in my craft room, and I'm sure that you'll be able to use lots of stencils. I'm going to pull out all of my stencils to see what I can do. This has got a beautiful bird and a beautiful leaf pattern on that. That will look lovely on an edge of a card, and then you can colour it in with the actual stencil as well. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? really important to go very slowly but you can use stamping as another tool of getting a, um, a template so then you can trace over it with the hot foiling pen. To turn off the hot foiling pen obviously you can plug it out or you just press this button and it will turn off. Remembering to keep it out of way of children and it's not and to be kept away from water as well. Please um, have parental supervision is recommended if you have young children with this tool. It is very hot on the end. So here I have that card that I created, that banner, and also these gift little gift cards with that same little stencil that I traced over and added some extra lines. You can write the word, I've written the word here of a name ready for a gift tag for Christmas. You can doodle with it or you can use stencils to create unique images. So I'm having so much fun playing with the hot foiling pen. I hope you do too. Please visit couturecreations.com.au for more inspirational projects from myself and the design team. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Please give a big like if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and happy crafting. Bye for now.